What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and yes, I am getting over a cold, which is why my voice sounds a little bit off. But today I want to talk about the different shooting slash gimbal modes on your crane gimbal. Uh, this is the same exact shooting modes that you'll find on any other gimbal that's on the market as well. We have four different modes. We have the pan follow mode, we have the full follow mode, we have the lock mode, and we have the POV mode. Actually, not all gimbals have that POV mode. So make sure when you're buying a gimbal, you have that feature because you can get some incredible shots. First off, let's talk about the PF mode or the pan follow mode. Luckily with the Crane 2 gimbal, we can always see what shooting mode we're in. So let me just take this off the tripod here. So right now we are in pan follow mode. Now a lot of you have been asking me on YouTube and Facebook what mode I usually shoot with. It's actually not pan follow mode, it's full follow mode. And I'll talk about why in just a moment. First off, pan follow mode is exactly how it sounds. You know, it's, it's just following your pan movements and not your tilt. See how I try and tilt the gimbal, the tilt actually stays locked, the tilt axis for that matter. So the, the camera will not tilt along with your movement. Now, why would you want something like this? Well, this is actually extremely important because when you're climbing upstairs, we usually have a tendency to lift up our hands uh, unintentionally. So your camera will unintentionally tilt up if you have the tilt engaged. So if we have the tilt locked, then the gimbal will compensate for our hands accidentally going up. So when you're filming a subject going upstairs, it's great to have that consistent tilt instead of a variable tilt going up and going down. So you can manually set your tilt by going up like this and then going up the stairs or up that incline or decline and have that tilt stay locked. So that's one of the great features when using pan follow. I find that to be the best mode to shoot in when you're changing elevation, going up or going down. Next, let's talk about lock mode. Lock mode is exactly how it sounds like. None of the axis will be following your movement. As you can see here, tilt is locked and so is my pan. Why would you want this feature? This feature or shooting mode on the gimbal will allow you to get extremely accurate hyperlapses but I won't show you any footage from hyperlapses because I'm currently working on a tutorial that will show you how to create a beautiful hyperlapse. So make sure you stay tuned for that video by subscribing to this channel with notifications turned on and you'll be notified when that video is released. Now with two presses on the crane gimbal, you will enter full follow mode. And as you can see here, my tilt is engaged and so is my pan. Now, believe it or not, full follow mode is the most used shooting gimbal mode I use for my videos, especially when I'm shooting workout videos. When I have the dual handle system attached to this gimbal, I'm able to easily transform my hand movements into gimbal movements, and that allows me to get the most fluid and stable shots. Now, this is my preference. For your line of work or for your type of videos, you may want to use pan follow mode more. But for what I use this gimbal for, full follow mode is what I really enjoy using. Next, let's talk about POV mode. POV mode allows us to create a Dutch angle. And along with that, it allows us to create a moving Dutch angle. So your camera doesn't have to be fixed in one location on a Dutch angle. It can move along with your movements. So it's actually very similar to the full follow gimbal mode that we were talking about earlier. It follows every single movement your hand is doing, or your arms for that matter. And this Dutch angle allows you to create beautiful and abstract movements. If you want a tutorial on how I use POV mode or the Dutch angle movement, go ahead and check out this video right here. All right guys, so those are the four shooting modes with a gimbal. If you wanna check out how to manually set these shooting modes as in how fast you want them to track your movements, you can go ahead and check out this tutorial video here. I show you how to set these parameters for Jew and Crane gimbals. So make sure you check out that video because it's very important. If this video has helped you out, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I have a ton of new content coming out, so that will be extremely exciting. I'm getting over my cold, and as soon as I get over it, the uploads will be happening a lot more frequently. 
Thank you guys again so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you create. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.